my sensors indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and we are going to work on the Franken Mac. It's uh, an SC30 case, <clears throat> but that's about the only thing that's going to be original on it. Uh, is the case, um, although we are going to be making some mods on it. Um, I'm all done with the front case. You guys saw that in the last video. So what we're going to do is, uh, now you can see this thing is really yellowed. I Richard righted this thing probably a couple years ago. And you can see that's more the color. It should even be lighter than that. But e even after retro it, unfortunately, the uh, chemical they use in the injection molding process leaches out reacts to the ultraviolet and turns yellow. So anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to begin by putting a power switch. This has got a fuse protector on it, which is good. And it's probably a little overkill on it, but it'll look pretty cool. This will light up when we're on, when we got it installed. Now you notice that the um, holes here that's where the original plug was, and that's where the original switch was. However, we're going to be putting this in here. And as you can see, this hole's a little too small. We have to blow this part out, and then we have to elongate this hole so this drops in there. And then the other issue is, as you see, that hole is a little bit bigger than that switch. But we have a fix for that. We're gonna put a back plate on the back of it so that way we have plenty of support for this uh, switch and the plug. And um, this is a C14 plug, uh, hence the little three prongs there. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to install this switch. Now this is not a complete tutorial. This is just something that I'm going to do. And um, it ought to look pretty cool when we're all done. And like I said, so the, the goal is when we plug it in, we turn it on the main power, and then there's going to be a switch on the side of it, and I'm going to use that little uh, re reset uh, button that sticks on the side of these, but I'm going to hook a switch to it. And so when you push it, that will start up the Mac Mini. Now I'm not decided yet on the Mac Mini um, how I'm going to put it in, in terms of if I'm going to take it all out of the case and just make something to keep it in there, that way it's easier to deal with, or if I'm going to leave it in a closure. I'm, uh, I'm still kind of on the fence with it, but uh, I told you in an earlier video that I was going to do a 2011 Mac Mini. Actually, I went with a 2012 Mac Mini. It'll have a little bit more horsepower, it'll be a little bit more upgradable and um, that way we can still run the current OS on it. So um, that's what we're gonna do guys. So anyway, we'll be back in a moment. Okay guys, so now we're gonna work on this guy here and I just wanna make sure that we are in frame, we are. So I'm gonna magnify this here a little bit. Let's see here, let's zoom in here. There we go, let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this piece out here and uh, get that and then I need to take measurements and we got to elongate this hole a little bit and bring it there. So really this is the only piece we got to do a little fill on here, which won't be too bad, but like I said we're going to put a back plate on it. So I'm just going to take and use this little um, modeling file here. We're going to figure out how much we need to cut that out on that side there. And uh, hopefully you guys can see it there. Good. Yeah. So like I said, I'm going to put the plug here and uh, 
there's a, there's a certain amount of space here, so that can't be too thick. So when you slide this switch down, then these little these things push in. These are, this is a panel mount switch. Push these pins in, and then eventually uh, they're under uh, tension. And then when you get it in, it, it locks it in there. If you want to get it out, you have to reach behind it and kind of squeeze them down and wiggle it out. But it work, it goes pretty easily. So anyway, so what we're gonna do is. Um, like I said, as far as this here, we'll come out here a little bit there. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a, a pen here and mark it here. So let's use a pencil here and come like right here. Then we will uh, continue this opening here, right about there, okay. like that. So we're going to take that piece out. Like I said, we'll have to do some filling behind here because it'll clip all the way from here to here to here, but this one side won't be clipped. But once we fill it in, it'll clip in there too. And it's also going to add a little bit more support to the back of this plate here too. If you notice, there's a lot of um, when they when they uh, molded this. You see, it's pretty thick, pretty thick. But we're we're close to the wall of it here. This has got a little raised up here, so that makes it a little bit stronger there. So uh, it it should hold up really good. Like I said, the back plate's just going to go basically in that area there. Just just add a little bit more support for it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I think I'll take my file, that little saw, and I think I'll saw it there. And like I said, if it's not perfect, it's it's fine. You just you, you want the opening's got to be a little bit bigger than a switch anyway for it to fit in. And that's what you do. If you need a little bit bigger, you just take the file and file it. This stuff, especially like working on wood. Um, if you notice these little covers over here. That's another video that I'm in the process of doing for you guys. But what we're doing is we're uh, refinishing this. That's coming up in a future video and I'm kind of showing you guys how to do it. I got lots of these cases, but no guts. That's, the cases are the only thing I salvaged on a lot of that stuff. And all that other stuff is just totally just destroyed. So anyway, all right, so we're gonna file that there a little bit. And I think what I will do, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around this way so that way I can that way I can do it there there we go all right so that way it'll be in there piece over there okay So we're going to use the Dremel tool, guys. Um, I think we'll do that. I think that'll be our better bet. I'm going to put a... Alright guys, so I just I just took the Dremel to it. It's just a little bit faster. I didn't want to take the risk of breaking that, but this stuff, I'm gonna, we're going to take the file to it here and file it a little bit here. And the main reason why I'm rethinking this is because this panel is not really flat. It kind of kind of curves toward the edge there and when I was putting that plastic up against the back of it uh, you really had to push on it to get it to uh, seat up there because this back is not really square so I thought well this would be a better solution 
and that way it'll look better when it's done. It won't look so, uh, um, you know, you won't see the big hole in there. It'll look a little bit more finished. So uh, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to, I got this all ready to JB weld. And like I said, I got my tape on back here so I don't lose my little mold here. And then, because uh, then when I'm done, then this, I'll push that switch out. But this is going to be my little brace here for the time being there. And then, uh, yeah, so it should look pretty good. And then when we get the switch in, uh, it'll have something to lay against like the rest of this panel. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I should be getting that Mac Mini next week. Um, maybe possibly this weekend, I don't know. But anyway, you know how the, the COVID's kind of slowing everything down. So anyway, uh, yeah guys, so it's going to look pretty good here when it's all done. But uh, you know, it's like anything else when you're doing a mod, it's going to look ugly. But um, that'll look nice when it's all done. That'll be lit up when, it, when it's pressed on. Um, that'll be pretty cool. It's got a nice feel to it too. And uh, yeah guys, so all right. So and uh, there we go guys. Um, we got it JB welded in there. And um, trying to get the camera here. And just before it sets off, I'm going to pop it out. And then uh, that way I can uh, be able to get the switch in and out if I need to. Because I don't want to keep that in there very long or I won't be able to get it out of there. I'm trying to, there we go right there. Hey guys, it's been, it's been a couple hours. And so anyway, here's uh, what, it, what it looks like here. And uh, there's the repair. And uh, it's very strong now. And when I put the receptacle in here in the switch, it snaps in there real good now. So it snaps in there real good. And that's what it looks like. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like just a little trim piece over this, and that's going to cover that. So it'll look good once all done. I'm going to make me a little trim piece to put over that. And uh, but yeah, but that came out really good. That repair. I mean, if it doesn't bother you, you could leave it like that. But for me, I want to finish it off a little bit nicer. I want to make it look just a little cleaner. But uh, it's strong, and uh, uh, we'll let that fully cure out in 24 hours. Mixing that cotton with it, you can do all kinds of stuff with it there. And uh, but yeah, it, it uh, works pretty good. And like I said, this thing, um, you just you can't push it out now. It locks in there, but you have to push the little tabs behind it here to get it out. And I'm going to let it. Um, I think probably what I'll do is I'm just going to leave the switch in here. So that way if it cures out, it's going to shrink a little bit probably. But, uh, so yeah. So uh, I'll, uh, this is a little update here. And, um, but like I said, guys, I will see you uh, in the next video. Um, and you guys be healthy and you be safe. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.